morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around this beautiful, beautiful world. Happy Friday and happy Easter to all of you. Today I've got an amazing, amazing guest to the show and I can't wait to meet you with her. Her name is Maria Jimaresh and do apologize if I did not pronounce the surname correctly. And she, okay. I'm going to stop for a second. The way how I met her was through my LinkedIn group uh, with the amazing mentor we've got together, Dinita Patni. A big shout out to Dinita Patni. And Maria was this amazing, amazing, beautiful lady with this beautiful energy, huge smile all the time. Such a, a like one of those people who you see, you meet, and it's like you fall in love straight away. And she was always like happy and cheerful. And then at some point she, she came to me and she said, like, I really want maybe if it's possible to to become a TEDx speaker. I think I think I have like a story to tell there. And to cut the story short, she uh, we, we had a chat and I could not stop crying because it turned out that that happy, amazing, beautiful soul had so much struggle, so much pain she went through. A hell she went through so much emotional and physical and and mental pain in the past and i just i just couldn't put those two together and i was like i'm the chosen one to to help maria to to do a tedx that was super emotional for me as well and i always got get emotional even more so please 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 put your hands together to welcome maria hi maria thank you thank you biliana for that amazing amazing start and um, thank you for your invitation today thank you so much and before we start everyone who is watching right now put the hashtag live if you're watching it live put a hashtag replay if you're watching it on the replay and before i go with my first question to maria make sure that you do put all your questions in the comments below and wish maria happy birthday <laughs> as today thank maria you. has birthday <laughs> thank happy you so birthday, much lovely. i yeah. can't believe that you came to my show on your birthday on good friday for Easter. <laughs> that is huge 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 thank you thank how you, you so feel much. now how you feel as a TEDx speaker Amazing. <laughs> I feel amazing, Biliana. First, it's really nice to be here with you, and especially on my birthday, and also special talking about the TEDx, which was a dream for years and years and years for me. So all amazing together. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What, what that TED Talk means for you? This... TED Talk has been a lot, a lot to me because it was, as I said, a long dream. And when I say a long dream, it was a, at least 20 years dream uh, that I thought always, I think I have a story to say um, and I would like to, to do it. And I used to see many, many, many videos of different uh, TEDx talk and I always have thought I would love to be there but that's not for me just simple but it was like a dream many times I could close my eyes and imagine thinking I could be there one day uh, and maybe talk about my story but uh, well I'm not an important person I'm not known um, so it's not possible to be on a on a TEDx. Um, so the moment I met you, uh, the moment you told me you have a story to be on that stage, um, that completely has transformed the path. And you know we have start walking, talking together, and uh, working and prepared all that. So for me at the moment being able to say i really am a tedx speaker i had been in a stage of a tedx um it is an amazing feeling that is even difficult to explain how amazing it is <laughs> to put it in words why that leads to my next question why did you choose that specific topic like 
getting getting on stage to to tell your most vulnerable um moments is that me or it's you just to check i think it's me and i decline it <laughs> no go ahead this is my uh, birthday i know <laughs> <laughs> now everyone is calling you to, to <laughs> birthday. sorry guys She's mine for like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Go ahead and totally, totally wish her the most amazing birthday wishes. So going back to the question, like you went through you went through all this pain, but to have the guts to to get on stage, why why did you decide to to really call your inner strength and call your all all the possible powers? to have that gut to get on stage and, and tell your most vulnerable moments and, and how you suffered in the past? To be very honest, it was difficult, yes. But I choose to talk about my story and to talk about suffering because it's difficult to talk about for most of the people, because it's difficult to share it with others. Even with friends, it's difficult to share suffering. And it is difficult to live it. Because I have been there and I was not able to talk about, to share even with my closest friends. Uh, and I know how I felt when all the periods I, I, I have lived those different um, sufferings, those different reasons of suffering, that was what made me decide to talk about it, um, especially after I start finding that uh, suffering, as I say in my talk, suffering can make us mentally stronger when we are able to start dealing with that suffering in a different way. So after I was able to make peace with my past and transform all that suffering, then I decided this is something that I need to share with people. And the idea is not talking about my story, but show them um, that it is possible to change stories, to change different kind of sufferings in strengths. And I'm happy I did it because the number of messages of people sending me their, you know, their little commentings and saying thank you for sharing uh, because they resonate with my story, they resonate with my feeling and uh, my suffering and the strings that are needed. Um, I hope with this talk to help more people to also share their sufferings and become um, maybe starting their journey of transform that suffering in also in strengths for them. Mm. That's why I chose to talk about. Yeah, I remember that in the most really difficult emotional moments when we were preparing you for stage and you were practicing in the most difficult moments, I had to actually remind you that this TEDx talk is about your story it's 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 about your story but it's not for you you know it's 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 for the people who are going to watch you so just to change that mind that it's about you but not for you um and that is like a huge mental shift as well which which always helps specifically for topics of suffering as as you one um, for those of you who is watching right now, the link to Maria's TED Talk is in the description. It's called You Should Not Exist. Uh, and the title is very specific. And you're going to learn the, like, the moment when you start watching the TED Talk, you will know why it's called You Should Not Exist, um, which was quite a, quite a trigger as well, uh, how to call such a talk, right? How exactly we, we I think we went through like eight or nine different titles until we chose this one. It was like, okay, that's it. <laughs> this is the perfect title. And so I'm so happy with that uh, that that title uh, came to us. You know, some people think that 
doing a TEDx is very difficult and like impossible, as you said, like you were dreaming for 20 years. <laughs> Some people think like, oh, this is very easy, you know, like just go do it, you know, and, and job done. Um, what was your journey for TEDx? My journey was all a discovery since since the moment we start talking about it and the moment you start explaining me uh, to me what uh, what was the process how does it work because and as i said before i thought that was only for people already very known uh, used to be on the stage so it's it's one more so they are normally on the stages of the world and uh, tedx invite them to talk that was my idea so obviously TEDx would never come to my house and invite me to go on a stage, right? So it was only the moment that we have started talking about it and you explained me that it is possible for everybody that has a story, that has something to say. Um, and you explained me how, how it, it is possible to get there. And I didn't even know that we could apply for um, I didn't know that there are different um, type, different themes uh, for different uh, TEDx, you know. So all that was important for me for the first decision that I really, I have dreamed with this for 20 years. And after all, it's not impossible, you know, it's possible for me as for many people, for any other people. So that was for me the starting point. Uh, and then it was the working with you, you know, when we start uh, discussing the, the script and I told you all the story and um, we start working on the script to be ready for, for a talk because I had a script of seven pages when we wrote it. So, yeah, it was the timing of uh, three or four TEDx instead of one. So... Uh, <laughs> We needed to cut everything for me was important, uh, obviously, because it was my story and you were the professional saying and helping me to choose what is really important without the 150 details that I was putting there. Um, you know, so all that was, was a big, big help. And then all the rest of the process of the training, uh, how to present it, um, how everything works till the moment of being published and, and after, even after, um, how, we, how we promote it, how we use all the uh, media, uh, the technical tricks to make it more uh, visible. So all that process was, was really important to me uh, in terms of your help, yes, and um, all the structure of, of your program is, is very well done because I always knew in what stage uh, we were. I always knew very well what was this, the, the step to follow um, and why the reason we were doing that and understand completely how it works till the end. Um, and then all that helped me to go out, have the courage to go out, and I want to be a TEDx speaker. So I'm going out, I'm going to choose which uh, stages I would like to, because obviously there is many I know now, I didn't know in the beginning, that there is different um, different TEDx. Uh, so I, I, with a, a talk like this, I couldn't go for a scientific or a medical one. But I didn't know before. There is different themes. Um, so with all that help, I went outside and started applying, choose which ones I was interested in, which ones my talk could fit, um, and start uh, applying for, for different uh, stages uh, of TEDx, different organizers. And then there was one organizer that was uh, TEDx, made the Marian way and uh, I spoke, I applied for it and I spoke with Mitzi Williams, which was, it was beautiful, it was great to meet her. She uh, listened to me, she listened to my story and she said, this story really needs to be shared and it was very important for me also her support, she understood the message and um, 
here I am at the wall. <laughs> I remember that moment um, you came to me to say like, oh my God, I'm accepted, you know, and, and it's like, we had a, we had a call, it was like super exciting. And, uh, and I don't remember, like it was shortly after this, um, basically Mitzi, Mitzi came back to you to say like, we need to postpone it's not going to be October, it's going to be January, 2022. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. How you felt with that challenge? <laughs> <laughs> that challenge, yes, it, it was a bit emotional at the end because I was preparing for the date. Um, uh, of course, there was a risk we were in COVID uh, difficult period. Um, so obviously, I knew there was a there was a risk. But I was when you emotionally prepared for. Uh, a date you prefer prepare for a, a moment and then suddenly is not it's not happening uh, again so the first emotion was oh my god i was ready and now what uh, but then uh, it was not the cancel it was only a postpone so um at the end was good even good because then i have used that uh, that extra time um to to work with you in terms of stage preparation and uh um develop the, the best way to to deliver uh on the day which happened so it was a useful time uh, for us for training and preparation what was the most challenging thing for you when you were preparing for to, to be a TEDx speaker there was a few moments, as you know, and I need to uh, say thank you again for your patience because it was a few months of preparation and it was like a roller coaster. You know, because uh, the talk for the ones who are going to see it after, the talk is so emotional that um, obviously for me that uh, I am the person in the story. Um, sometimes was difficult so the beginning was very emotional and uh, there was days that i thought uh, i wouldn't be able to deliver it because i would cry i would feel you know my voice change and all that and your support always there saying well with practice and with all the training uh, that will become you know easier and easier and uh, till the end so it was some days very good some days terrible we had some rehearsals with, when I thought, well, I'm almost ready. And then the following one was absolutely terrible. All my voice was changing and, uh, you know, all emotional and everything. And I, I thought, I can't do this because it's too, too much, um, too much uh, feelings around this to, to, to do. Um, so those, that was the biggest challenge was, um, dealing with all the emotion involved and be able to uh, keep the emotion but uh, not let it affect the uh, the deliver mm. asking you this let me ask the other question what was the biggest fun moment <laughs> of your journey towards tedx stage one of the biggest fun moment was the after and was almost at the end because it was a great amazing moment the uh, delivery the day, day the day of your tedx you're talking about yes the talking yeah so the the, the day of the tedx the, the the proper day of the talk uh, was an amaz amazing feeling was an amazing day it was like uh, be the real moment the reality of the dream uh all that all the uh you know all the emotions involved uh, all the adrenaline was was an amazing experience and then there's a few days after that the adrenaline is still there uh but it starts calming down because we know we need to wait uh some time to to see it published so we wait and then after some days, you start being more, you know, the adrenaline starts going up again because you start, well, should be coming, should be coming. 
Um, but then it happened that um, I was very close to my um, wedding anniversary and I was planning a holiday uh, for that moment to be away in the sun, in the beach and, um, you know, enjoying the, the anniversary day. So getting close to that moment, you know, it... The, the, the talk was not published yet. So I start, like my mind starts changing a little bit. Okay, I'm waiting for the TED. I'm very calm now. Nothing is happening. And I'm planning now my holidays first. And then when I come back, then it's Sunday, it will be published after. So I was planning the holiday, packing clothes, summer clothes, uh, all in my mind, the beach, the, the sand, the in the palms. <laughs> <laughs> completely and uh, I remember we talked about it because I was going to uh, travel the following day um, and we talk about you wish me a good holiday all good I will come back and then we continue talking and like 10 minutes after we talk I suddenly look at the web and I see my face there I see my talk there and that oh my gosh is published so I was like all the adrenaline just jump <laughs> and first I thought it's not possible this is me you know so um yeah and I didn't know anymore if I wanted to go on holiday or do I cancel my holiday or what do I do now and it was yeah it was fun because it was suddenly unexpected and the the real moment was was there and then was worldwide um, you know, on the web, on YouTube, uh, and this, it was, it was fun. Really Can you fun. imagine to go to your husband after your husband has been through the whole TEDx journey together with you, obviously, like practicing at home and listening your speech over and over until he knows it by heart, and then, and then planning this anniversary to to go like it, it, it's a long trip because you went the other side of, of the planet for this trip and just to, to go the day before you travel to be like, we're canceling the anniversary, the TEDx is on, it's published. <laughs> Can you imagine like, like <laughs> poor, yes. poor here. <laughs> no, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. But I can tell you that my first reaction was, yes, going to, to him and look at him like serious, happy and happy and all at the same time and saying, my TEDx is published. So... <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> you know, so uh, yes, it was the funny moment that the after funny moment. Yeah, you sent, so for all of you watching this, um, we, we did get that chat and we finished the chat as Maria said, 10 minutes later, she sent me a message saying, my TEDx is published. <laughs> and I really, I thought this is a joke. <laughs> and I, I said, to her like, yeah, this is a great joke, Maria. <laughs> Yeah. And, and then you said, no, really, it is published. <laughs> My reaction was like, what? <laughs> With the <a> question <laughs> marks. So I went on YouTube and I was like, putting your name very quickly. And it's like, oh my God, it's really published. <laughs> and you're traveling the next day. <laughs> like we, so when, uh, when we do a TED talk and it's the time to be diffused for, you know, like take your YouTube link and then just like spread it to everyone, you know, to all your networks, that's so important. So the first 48 hours is like super crucial for, for your TEDx video. And that's why me and Maria was like, we were laughing, but I mean, I was like, what, what are we going to do now? <laughs> <laughs> she had to fly on a like 12 hours flight, I think. Yes. And yes. I was part of the 48 hours, first 48 yes. hours after publishing. Mm -hmm. I was like, we need we need plan B because we had only plan A. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, well, I can tell you it was the flight of my life where I sleep more time, uh, <laughs> slept more time because that day after it was published, I spent all night um, sending all the message to all my friends, everybody I knew with information my TEDx is published and with the link etc so it was five o'clock in the morning and I was still um you know sending message to everybody before before I traveled so then it was the first flight I slept most of the flight so <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that I was sending a message like 
the most important is to pack for your holiday <laughs> and the rest is second <laughs> and you quickly yes. send me a message saying i packed a day ago i was like thank god like marie is not like like i pack literally the night before i travel or the morning before i travel if it's an afternoon flight so last minute packing and thankfully you're not one of those <laughs> like last minute packing <laughs> I love it okay so what is next you're now TEDx speaker congratulations I'm so 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 happy for you congratulations happy birthday on your birthday <laughs> <laughs> Thank what you. is next for Maria Jimoresh well, the next now it's is continue working with people as I do as I do now um, sharing more my message and uh, help people, motivate people to talk, to share about their sufferings because I know how that can make an effect and make influence in our in our life. I have suffered that for many years. That has affected my professional life uh, so much. That I can, I know how sometimes people don't involve even in their careers, their professional lives, because they have in lack of confidence, they have all that suffering stay with them. So if I can help people to make peace with their past, transform all those uh, emotional, negative emotions, emotions and sufferings in strengths to help them evolve in their lives and their, their careers, um, their professional lives. That is my aim. I know you're going to make it as you are an NLP coach. You are an empowerment coach. You're so, so empowering. It was very empowering to, to work with you. And thank you so much for that. Thank you so much, Biliana. And thank you for inviting me. You're so welcome to all of you watching today. Uh, put any questions for Maria in the comments below and I'll make sure that Maria do answer to all of them. I'm wishing you happy Easter wherever you are around this beautiful, beautiful world. And I'm going to see you next Friday. Thank you.